Hey everyone, uh, this is Alex USA Days, and uh, just wanted to talk about something that I've been asked recently quite a lot in the comments. And I guess people are interested: is quality assurance good for a career choice? And uh, should someone become a tester if they want to? Uh, if that are they going to regret it later? <laughs> uh, short answer to this video, and if you want to finish right now, um, yes, it is a good choice, and it's totally worth uh, to become QA engineer. My longer explanation, if you're willing to try to become a tester, please go ahead and most likely, you know, you're going to love it. Uh, it's going to be something you're going to do for a very long time, maybe till even you retire. Um, one of the things that are great about testing or becoming a quality assurance engineer, testers are needed everywhere where you have developers. So essentially you can work in any industry you want. You can work in... Retail, uh, testing their products. You can work in semiconductors. Uh, you can work in uh, auto tech. Uh, you can work in healthcare. You can work in finances. Really, any industry, anything that has to do uh, with coding, you can work there as a tester. Because if a product is on the market and it can see it's updated, if it has competitors, have to fa fight for market share, they have to keep the quality up to a certain standard or lose customers so you will always have jobs there that are going to be you know required in order to keep the product in good shape right uh that's one of the bonuses right so working as a queue engineer in any industry uh, you really like to try the other thing with testing testing is uh, a good stepping stone uh into getting into it field in general so you can start as a queue engineer even like a manual queue engineer uh, and then figure out what you want to do later so if you want to perceive uh, and go become senior QA engineer, uh, if you want to become a QA manager, or if you want to go into automation and do, uh, or maybe become full stack QA engineer, or even become a developer, right? Uh, some people move from QA into product management or become scrum master. So it's, it's a very, very good niche where you can actually get a feel uh, how it is to work in the IT industry without learning uh, development, right? Because development is essentially, you know, one, one of the hardest things that that, 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 that there is in the IT field, right? Uh, requires a lot of dedication. And I'm not saying that testing is easy, but I think it's a very good stepping stone, right? Uh, regardless if you want to further continue as a QA engineer later on or not. Why else would you want to be a QA engineer. So QA engineer is uh, is a good job in general. So you you do work for for the one of the well paid sectors. The IT is very well paid, right? Uh, you will have substantially higher salaries. Uh, so some regions may be starting around sixty k's. Other regions maybe even uh, higher eighty k's. If you work somewhere in Bay Area or remotely for Bay Area. You can have 160 or even 200 case uh, middle and senior levels uh, QA engineer. So the sellers are, are are pretty good. Aside from that, uh, you do work with the new tech. You do work uh, uh, with a product that will have an impact, right? And uh, as a tester, you'll have to make sure that whatever is being released is actually good, right? So maybe you're not coding things and... Uh, I have this story that uh, happened to me uh, when I used to work as a QA engineer for a semiconductor company. Um, we were testing products that you sell to other corpor corporations, right? So essentially it wasn't going directly to retail. And it takes some time uh, before product hits the market and the people start buying it. So uh, I worked on the product uh, left the company and then a couple years passed and uh, I moved into a new apartment and the product that I was testing a couple years back uh, finally got to the retail sector and I had the same chip that I was testing that was provided by me but to me by the by the apartment building for the internet right so that's kind of interesting how the whole thing kind of turned around and uh, from a person who was working on a product and making sure that it works as it's supposed to, to becoming a consumer. So, yeah. So, there is a purpose, right? It's not, uh, it is not a job that you, 
you kind of think, okay, why am I doing this, right? No, there's actually impact. There, there are real people that will be using this product. And even though if you're you're not writing the software, you're not creating the product in terms of uh, writing code, but you are uh, making sure that it works as it should, and you know you're doing something important. So there is a sense of pride in it. Uh, there, there are down downsides of being Q engineer, obviously, right? Uh, so, aside from, uh, so I think the couple things that are very, very uh, misconceptual about testing is testing is boring, right? So people would say it is boring. Uh, I can't say that testing is boring. I can say that testing is repetitive. So there is that factor. So one of the things that not all people might like that you have to kind of go through the same tests over and over again or work on the same pieces of a product and get back to them and verify, verify them that they're, they're still working. So if as a developer, you might be working on the features, uh, building something new. So there's a lot of creative creativity in that sense. Uh, as a QA engineer, many times you're just going to, obviously you're going to test new stuff all the time because the new stuff uh, they keep releasing, updating the product, right? But you will also be coming back and rerunning the old things to make sure that they work. Uh, so repetition and doing the same thing uh, over and over and over again is part of the job. It really varies how you're going to execute tests and what you're going to do uh, based on the product that you're testing, right? And one thing, if you're uh, somewhere in the government sector or in the military, right? And I don't know, or maybe in Tesla and you're testing... Uh, their autopilot and completely different thing if you're working on an e-commerce web page, right? So, but in general, you'll have a lot of repetitive things happening, right? So some people are not really fond of that, right? That could be oh, one of the like uh, drawbacks. Sometimes the work kind of piles up. So you can have like some continuous process that is happening throughout the development cycle or where you Keep on testing some things and uh, you have like a normal work day but to the end normally <laughs> or most of the most of the companies in the it to, towards the end of the closer to the release they'll have work that piles up and everything starts coming to you at the same time uh, so uh, you might have long working hours so by the like maybe bi-weekly or every once in a while you have to work from early hours to late nights and it's kind of you know kind of everywhere across the industry kind of expected okay we have this date uh it's time to crunch uh and yeah that, that's a normal thing so this is something else you might want to consider um with testing where there's possible to work from home right uh, so that that could be a great thing that could be a, a bad thing some people love that others other people want to go back to the office uh but there are options so depends what kind of company you, you can find the companies that there are offering positions to work from home but they're also a company that wants you to be in the office so this is kind of a, a flexible thing uh, there that can be good or bad there there's a lot of opportunity to become a q engineer just by going through boot camps and uh you know you don't necessarily need a computer science degree uh or bachelor's or master's uh, I mean, you can have some relative field in it, or you can just start uh, through a bootcamp and kind of start your career, uh, do maybe some freelance testing first, go through a cycle of interviews, find a job you want to you wanna be in and uh, get hired and then start like a queue engineer like that. Uh, so I think there's a lot of flexibility in terms of, in terms of how to become a queue engineer, right? There's, there's no uh, one way, there's no one path to that. And I think that's all also why it is great to try it, right? So you want to try a bootcamp, sure. Uh, you want to be a self-starter and uh, watch a bunch of YouTube videos and do some freelance and then, then find your job, sure. You can do that. Uh, you want to go into trade school, uh, you can do that. You want to go to the college and after that, you know, computer science and become tester, you can do that. And again, if if you try it and then you, it doesn't really work out for you, you don't like it, uh, you can switch it up. Uh, you're already in the field. You already understand the process, the workflow for the software development. Uh, you can do product management. Uh, you can do Scrum Master. You can do uh, development. Uh, you can do 
support you can do so many other you can do customer relationship and even sales there's there, there are really so many things you can switch to uh because all of the specialties in the it they're they're there so from hr to the guy who fixes your computer to uh you know hardcore developer all of those positions are there so qa can be a stepping stone uh into the work field right again my answer to the question is quality assurance good for a career absolutely uh you should definitely give it a try if you're considering it and if it doesn't work out i it's going to be a lot easier to switch to something else uh in the field after you have this experience all right so hopefully that helps uh this was alex usa days and